Hello everyone, this is you with you at the YouTube channel. So today we installed the uh, uh, O-ring okay, into our T9.1, testing the power limit of these guns. So we have the balls loaded. This is the HP 68, as you can see. Uh, we got a mag of eight rounds right here. And we got a crony. Okay, now what's so special about this setup is that it's very exciting because we're getting power that we don't even expect to get. So uh, let me show you my setup. That's the T9.1 with the LabPro 16 inch barrel. Uh, this is a 38 CI or 32 CI tank, uh, Ninja tank. Okay, we have the ASA at the rear and also tune up the velocity, the music o-ring inside and my sight now the problem is the balance of the gun as you can see it keep keep on tilting backward like that <laughs> it's very very heavy okay so that's the downside of the gun now the good side of the gun is that it's super powerful so let me see if i can show you chronograph like that okay i'm gonna go like that and chrono okay so <laughs> Ah, oh, this is so heavy and I am hungry. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's gas up the gun first. Put the gun on safe. Now, make sure you know at this settings, you're not going to goof around like it's a, it's a toy. This is, this is not a toy, okay? This is crazy. If you miss fire one shot, big problem. Okay, okay, I think I got the gun right. Okay, let's uh, put the mag in. Very scary with this power. If you actually shot something like maybe your door or something, it's going to be a big problem. You're going to penetrate through that. Okay, so I'm going to stay closer to shoot. 349. Oh, mine. Okay, one more time. 342 okay one more shot 345 it's very loud i'm going to stop here but you got the idea okay so it's a very powerful gun at this moment and then we have to turn this all the way back to uh to lock back the asa and we got one more shot okay so let's clone the last shot together might as well Okay, so we got a 349 again. So we're at 350 range. And basically there's no more because no more air. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. Put the gun down first. Okay, very scary. Okay, so how many jewels is that? I calculated already. Okay, that's about 43 jewels of this gun. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Okay, so the HP 68 can be used with the T9.1 or if you're using the FSC pistol, okay, like this one, you can actually buy uh, the accessory to mount this part, okay, this part, the rear ASA, to use HPA tank uh, to fire. Now, if you use this setup, okay, this settings to fire with CO2, the problem is you might only get one shot out of a 12 gram CO2, and that's like, totally nonsense okay so what i suggest is if you're a power user um this is good okay if it's not like if you're trying to use a gun that is more mobile more uh f small form factor okay then uh, don't tune it up that much but yeah the music o-ring really helps um so that's uh that that's the difference okay with the stock o-ring uh, it's going to blow the O-ring out right away, and uh, with the music O-ring, it's really working, okay? So again, uh, this is one of our fans on the YouTube channel, now out of my brain. I am kind of fried today, but uh, I remember his name is Felix, okay? So yeah, thanks for the tips. And the uh, problem is not that I didn't mention you, the problem is that I forgot. And you know, when I'm making video, it's all... Uh, intense and tired and stuff i just went through this gun you know like this morning and i was trying to fix it not a fix but like put it back together 
And the thing is, I got this Q-Joy trigger right here that took me one hour to fiddle back into the gun because it always keep popping that little O-ring on the side and I keep trying and trying and trying and trying trying to put back the gun and it's like so lame. But anyway, so yeah, I am trying to uh, deal with that issue. Uh, anyway, so <laughs> that's basically how it works uh, right here. Now, um, at the end... I want to also say that uh, if you're using this gun at this power setup, one problem I don't like is that the ASA and this is attached like that. So it is very hard to unscrew this thing out. Okay? Unless you keep venting the air. So if you want to unscrew the tank out, okay, neither the tank is empty or you have to like keep shooting and then unlock the tank at the same time. Or you just leave it like that. Uh, I don't know how long it should be like left like that or it'll work like that. I'm not really sure, okay? But <laughs> at this moment, I think I'll just leave it like that. <laughs> I hope there's no leak or whatever. But anyway, that's a scary part of tanks. Um, yeah, you, you know, if you're using tank, it's like a big commitment. Because filling them back up, okay, uh, it's a uh, hassle. And yeah, if you have a compressor, of course, uh, you can you can always like pump air back in but uh even i have a compressor i have to tell you that you know it's a hassle you okay? see your compressor also need maintenance and it will fail on you over time okay so that's a lot of maintenance now if you ask me personally i would say i'm happy with the 12 gram 8 gram co2 shooting at 20 ish joules but if you are really looking for a powerhouse you know this is like 40 something joules and it's insane so yeah, it, it works, okay, there's such a possibility, but it's definitely not something very practical for everyday fun shooting. Uh, and it's getting very loud too. Okay, now if we look into the trap, okay, oh my, a lot of rounds already broke. Look at that, just from, the, just from my uh, testing, okay. You see, if you're not... Like, if you're buying these rounds and you're trying to just chrono your gun at home, oh, shoot. It, you know what? It shoots through the, uh, it shoot, shoot through this thing and also into here. And I can feel a hole, okay? It punched a hole through this stack of bubble wrap. Now, did it went through? Not yet, okay? But it's about to. Wow, scary shit. Okay, so thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.